See, the, the rain is nice, but see, I, I don't really like getting wet. What in the world? No, I I went under the awning. It's it's still raining. Why is it still raining? I did what I was supposed to. That's not fair. Hello everyone. The first video was made by Jack Stauber. You can find a link to his channel and the videos themselves in the description. Jack Stauber a man in whose videos many find both sad and funny meanings. Who is Jack Stauber? He is the creator of the Jack Stauber channel, has over 3 million subscribers on the channel, and makes content like this. See, the, the rain is nice, but see, I, I don't really like getting wet. Some of which seems crazy, and others with hidden meanings. Many people have a lot of discussions on the topic of his videos, and today in our video there will be a discussion about his videos. The way I personally think of it is the man in the video's wife recently passed away, and he's having trouble recovering from it. He falls into a pit of depression and fills the void with alcohol. But he realizes that no matter how much he drinks, his sadness isn't going away. He's still stuck in that place of depression, and nothing is helping him get out of it. It's unfair to him, and he doesn't understand why this is happening to him. I don't know if you all have any smarter interpretations of this video, but it really struck a chord with me as a mentally ill person. I would take so many different prescribed antidepressants when I was in school, and yet still be so depressed. I just feel like I did what I was supposed to, with all the medication and therapy and healthy habits, and it would still be raining, and that's not fair. Sometimes you can't cure something, it's just part of you. This is what people write about on Reddit, I understood several meanings from this video, but the most ideal one for me sounds like this. Rain is the personification of problems, and man is us. We constantly run away from problems. We don't even try to solve them, and it's sad. We just hide from our problems, make excuses, we lie, and so on. The roof is the personification of our attempts to hide from problems. Although we took refuge, they are not over. We are constantly hiding, not trying to solve it properly. This is a problem for everyone, including me. We people are just trying to isolate ourselves, run away from all problems and not think about them. We believe that if we just hide, they will be solved on their own. And this is truly sad. Let's move on to the next video. It's called Bumblebees Are Out. <laughs> oh, damn child, leave this house. When watching, you might think that the video makes no sense, but this is not the case. Or I'm crazy who is looking for meaning in everything crazy. In appearance, it would seem like an ordinary family living in an ordinary house. It seems like a loving father. It seems so to us. Before we begin to notice attacks of rage in the father of his daughter, I have three theories that take place. The first, his wife died in an unfortunate case, and this is why the man became hot-tempered. The second theory is that the man drove his wife to suicide. I think they quarreled a lot. They eventually got divorced, and the man began to drink a lot and scold his daughter a lot. Even I think that he possibly a child molester, and the third theory is one that I lean towards more than the first two. Everything that is shown is not reality. It is just an imagination of how her parents will scold her. Apparently they often scold her, and there is violence in the house. She ran away out of fear, thought that her parents would scold her, to be more precise. Her father, the father most likely sits on his wife's neck, does not work, but only drinks for days on end, and therefore, in her imagination, is not her mother is shown. She runs into a clearing to calm herself down. She loves nature. The video shows a scene of how bees sting her, but she goes oblivious to all this, because where should she go? Her house will be scolded. I think the girl at the end died, but this is just my imagination. But we are shown a strong swelling of the inflamed area where the bee stung. It happens that people are allergic to bees. Hey, hey. I'm gonna go to the library. Do you wanna come along? Um, no thanks. I'm gonna stay home. Okay, I'll see you. Be high.
Behind Curtain Number One is... Correct! Wait. You, you don't remember what she looks like. Hey, just make something up. Oh, what you made is gonna be. God, for me, this is the saddest thing. It's not difficult to understand what the video is talking about. At the beginning, the character shown is possibly a father or brother. He calls him to the library, but the guy refuses. In this scene, it shows that the guy is depressed when he's just lying there trying to remember your mother's appearance. And the saddest thing is that you cannot remember the appearance of that person who has not been in your life for a long time. This makes you cry. I also had a similar situation. Sometimes I have insomnia. At such moments, I think about my life. And then, every time before going to bed, I remember my grandfather, just like the guy in this video remembers his mother. Sometimes I can't even remember his face just like him. Most likely everyone had this situation. I have nothing to add. It's directly said that the guy can't remember his mother's face. The only thing shown in this video is a life situation. The next video is called, Now and Then, Hello then. Yeah, I know. didn't really work that well. Yeah, I like that. As for me, the meaning of this video is that we people take something from our past. That is, we take only what will be useful to us in the future. The very title of the video speaks about this. Now and then, we take only what we really consider necessary, be it a book read or an experience of something. Although the video itself is creepy, its meaning is very simple. The next video is called Help. What? what Hello? The? What happened? I don't know. What's up? No, you need, you need help. I need help? Definitely. What's help? Assistance, supportive action. You, oh. you really need some. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sure. Good luck. Okay. Help. Help! Oh, how can I help? What? Is, is there a way I can help? I need help. Do you want help? What? You don't want help. I don't? No. Alright. Well, so, well, thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. A person doesn't know. He doesn't understand that he's in trouble. And he doesn't even try to get out of trouble. That's the meaning I understood. Everyone has their own meaning in most Jack Stauber videos. Write what meaning you understood and correct me if I was wrong somewhere. So that's what I mean. In the video, the person definitely needs help, but he doesn't understand it. Even when the person comes up to him and asks if he needs help, he replies, I don't know. Then that person says, you definitely need help. 
He simply replies, Okay, then he just starts screaming involuntarily. What kind of screaming? What he says can hardly be called a scream. He just says, Help. As soon as another person responds and asks if he needs help, he answers, I don't know, this is a big problem for most people. They don't even understand that they need help. And when someone responds, he just tries to push him away. Guys, thank you for watching this video up to this point. By the way, guys, scroll down, subscribe to my Telegram gaming YouTube channels. And also, if you want to play different games with me or with others, go to our Discord server link in the description as well. All Jack Stauber videos.